But imagine that all of the scientific progress since the beginning of the Enlightenment until now, um, we had in a one year period. Microsoft might be one of the most silent, prolific companies coming in the next like five years. Right, uh, Sam, and, and even that thing about content creation and search both being supported by AI is just fantastic. And today, obviously, we are very thrilled to put even more of these breakthroughs uh, in the hands of customers. Uh, we are bringing the power of Dolly uh, to Azure OpenAI service. What Microsoft is doing now is they're integrating a lot of OpenAI within this platform. And they're doing it small and sneaky ways. Of course, we heard a good hub co-pilot. A lot of people don't even know this, Microsoft owns Copilot. And I made a video before, if you look up here, of how Netflix will be integrating Microsoft and OpenAI as their ad service to generate video. And we want all our customers to be able to apply Dolly to any commercial use case, whether that's image editing and generation or content personalization and rapid response marketing campaigns. I am seeing Microsoft is pipelining the services of OpenAI to Netflix to do generated videos. You're not there yet. So right now the ad service that Netflix is using now is quote just you know stick an ad for your face based on some ad service that way. I think over time it's gonna be a new ad service that kind of pipes in behind the scenes which would be legitimately generated stuff within the video. Microsoft is thinking how can we integrate OpenAI into every product they have. They want to take every product and integrate it into their Cortana, into uh, Microsoft Bing, into Xbox Live, into every product they have that make the user experience so sticky. Because you're interacting with a, a system that communicates and, and makes you feel a certain kind of way depending on the experience. And it has so many ways of doing that. They literally stuck to the hip. Open AI as a means of communication and search and just personalizing everything with people. So in my opinion, I think Microsoft might be a huge player in this new new frontier of AI in a few years. So Open AI is coming up with a whole new GPT-4 version. Currently we have 3.5, which is a chat GPT, which already blown everyone away. But version uh, 4 is coming out soon. Now, what is it about this model compared to other models? Some speculate that this is a 100 trillion parameter model, but then, you know, Sam Altman says, it may be comparison to the current number of parameters we have in 3.5 or 3. What do you think are the kind of moonshots that, in terms of evolution of the next couple years, that people should be looking out for? In terms of, like, evolution of where AI will go? Yeah. I think we will get true multimodal models working. And so, you know, not just text and images, but every modality you'd like in one model, e able to easily, like, uh, you know, fluidly move between things. But what I'm also speculating is that they may blow us away, maybe, I'm over speculating here, that they actually could generate video. Like, create a video from the response that you said, you know, two people handle a conflict resolution, right? a video will be generated and seeing two people handle that. Typically, we've seen Dai2 create images. We've seen Whisper really create synthetic voices from, you know, just text. And we've seen OpenAI uh, GPT 3.5 literally just break the internet. So when 4 comes out, video might be a big part driving of GPT 4 um, because then that allows people to see visual context compared to just text context which we've seen so far and that will transform things in movies and content creation and everything through media 